The three nominees, Momo Matemo, Irene Chepto, and Jen Onsongo, seemed to have just been a breath away from occupying the office charged with a crucial fight against graft after Parliament failed to approve the Legal Affairs Committee's report rejecting them. But by doing so, apparently, there was no progress made. By the rejection of the committee's report, the House is put in the position in which it was before the committee's report, namely that there are nominees before the House who have neither been approved by the House nor rejected by it. That motion, according to the Speaker, will be independent of the one that was defeated. It's the debate during the morning session that led to the Speaker's ruling as members sought his direction on the effect of Tuesday's vote. What we did yesterday was not approval of the names. In my view, the spirit of the law in the Constitution and in the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission that requires parliamentary approval requires this approval to be expressed. And it becomes incumbent on the honor of the business in question, in this case the government, through the leader of government business or otherwise as the government may, be, may determine to move a motion for the approval by the House of the nominees. 50 MPs had voted to reject the committee's report, while 49 supported it. However, according to Khalwale, one vote had been cast prematurely. Since the chair decided to vacate the seat during division and went to one side of the house to go and cast his vote before he knew that there was a tie, Mr. Speaker, was it procedural? Standing order number 64 says every member other than the substantive speaker or the attorney general shall be entitled to vote in a division even though the member is in the chair. Had he, had he voted, in your view, having decided that it was procedural, had he voted and then the result of his voting was that he created a tie, who then would have broken the tie, Mr. Speaker. I have the, 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 the powers, I have the legality to vote twice when I'm on the chair. If I'm not the Speaker and I'm not the Attorney General. It is the prerogative of the chair to determine if he or she wishes to exercise the casting vote and if so, whether it shall be an aye or a nay. And therefore, whether the motion is carried or lost. The composition of the crucial Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission now remains in limbo, despite being three months behind schedule as per timeline set out under the Constitution. Sylvia Chabit, Citizen Live at Nine.